Hey guys, welcome back again. So in this video, we'll be making a very small application that is a URL shortener. And in case you don't know that what's a URL shortener is, then it is very simple. That is you can provide in a long URL here and then you can create a URL that is very short and you can easily share that URL. So if someone goes to that URL, then he would be redirected to the actual URL. So let's go here inside Google search and here I've simply searched about Google and we see that we get such a long URL when we search about Google. So what you can do, you can simply copy this very long URL and what you can do, you can go to your application and you can paste it here and then you can simply create a URL for that. And as soon as you will create a URL, then you will get a short URL for that exact same URL. And now what you can do, you can go to this URL or you can share this URL with your friends or family and then they can simply visit this URL. So let me copy this URL or let me simply click this URL and we see that we are redirected back to the exact same URL that we just shortened. So now let's see one more example that is we are at this YouTube video page and somehow we want to share this video, but we do not exactly want to send it like this. That is uh, starting with YouTube, YouTube.com. And so what you can do, you can simply copy this URL and you can go to your application. You can paste the URL here and this is the URL exact URL. And then you can simply create this URL and then you have again a new URL. And if you go to this URL, then you would be again redirected back to the original URL. So that's what we are going to make and it's a very easy application. So let's see how to do it. So here what I've done is that, that I've created a empty flow folder here that is called URL shortener and if we ls here, then nothing inside this app folder here. So let me initialize a new NPM project here. So what I'll do, I'll simply do NPM init hyphen y to keep the defaults. And now we are going to install a couple of dependencies. So let's install npm install hyphen hyphen safe express that would be for express server and then we will be using the EJS templating engine. So we'll install EJS. Then for the errors, we'll be using the package called HTTP errors. So HTTP uh, hyphen errors and then one more package which we are going to use and that is the short ID to generate short IDs for our URLs. So that is called short ID like this. So let's install it. And now everything is installed. So let's clear it out and uh, let's ls here and uh, let's see what's inside package.json. So package.json and we see that we have the dependencies here. That is the EJS, the express and the HTTP errors and short ID. So now what I'll do, I'll create some files inside this folder. That is this URL shortener and that is the app.js file. That would be the entry point for our application. So let me clear it first. So touch app.js and then we want to have a couple of folders inside this folder and that is the models folder, the public folder and the views folder. So let's create those folders. So maker views public and the third folder which we want is the models folder like this. So now we have these three folders that is the views, the models and the public folder. And one package I forgot to install and that is the mongoose to connect to our mongodb. So let's also install that. So npm install hyphen hyphen save mongoose. So now if we look at the package.json file, so package.json, then we see that we have all the dependencies necessary for this application and we have mongoose installed also. So now let's open our text editor that is VS code so I can do code dot so now we see that we have these files here that is the app.js file the package.json file and all the folders here so now let's go to the app.js file so now here inside the app.js file what we want to do we want to initialize our express application so let's quickly do that const express equal to require express and then let's initialize the app so const app equal to express not express but express like this and then finally we want to listen on port 3000 or whatever you want so here i am listening on port 3000 so let's say app dot listen and here we can pass in the port number and then we have a callback here and we can simply console log that our server is on port 3000 so on port 3000 like this 
So let's save this application. And now before starting this application, let's go to the package.json file here and let me create a start script here. So let's create a start script and it would say nodemon app.js and I'm using nodemon here because it will restart the application as soon as it sees changes inside the .js files. And if you haven't installed nodemon globally, then you can simply do npm install hyphen g nodemon to install nodemon globally. So now let's close this package.json file and now let's start the application by doing npm start. So npm start and we see that our server is on port 3000. So now let's also require certain other packages that we need inside this application. So here at the very top, firstly what we need to require, we need to require the short ID, the HTTP error package and the mongoose package. So let's require them, show const short ID equal to require short ID. And I'll be letting you know that why I'm using this short ID, but this short ID would generate this ID, that is this ID that you see here, that is 5GIEGDNUH. So this is the short ID which, we, which is generated by that short ID package. And now what we need to do, we need to require another package and that is create HTTP error package. So const create HTTP error and this should be equal to require HTTP errors like this and then we also want to require mongoose to connect to our mongodb so const mongoose equal to require mongoose and guys here i've installed mongodb locally on my system and if you don't know that how to install mongodb on your system and then you can go and watch my videos about how to install mongodb locally on your system and the links are in the description below and now after initializing the app what we want to do we want to write some middlewares that is firstly we want to set this public folder to be the static folder so for that we need to require the path package so const path equal to require path and this is built inside node.js that is this path package and then finally to set the static folder as the public folder so what we can do we can simply do app.use express.static and here we need to pass in the folder path so for that we can simply do path.join dir name and then the public folder like this and now we need to apply two middlewares that is to pass the incoming request body that would be coming from our form that is this form so let's use the middleware so app.use express.json like this though we won't be using the json thing here but still i keep it this way only so app.use express.url encoded and here we pass in extended not express plus extended to be false like this so these are the middlewares to pass the incoming request body and now since we have installed this package that is called ejs and we also need to set the view engine for this application so what we can do we can simply do app.set view engine and here we can simply pass in ejs like this and now let's handle the first route that is the root route so app.get and then here we would have a function here so let's create this function that is async request comma response comma next and here inside this application i will be using async and await and no callbacks so now here what we want to do we want to render something so response.render and here we want to render index but we have not created this file that is index.ejs so what we can do we can go to our views folder here and let's create a new file here and that is called index.ejs like this and now we are inside this ejs file that is index.ejs so let me create the skeleton of the html so i can simply do exclamation and tab and now here the title would say url shortener like this and then for the body let me create a h1 tag here and simply it says url shortener like this so let me save this thing from here and let me also save app.js and the server restarted so now let's go back to uh, this local host and let's see if we are getting this thing so we see that we are getting let me close the other tabs so we see that we are getting this h1 tag here that is url shortener and now let's go back to our application let me 
fill up this index.ejs file here that is we want to have a form here and then the url thing here so let me fill it out here so firstly i simply want to have a form here so let me create the form here so the form would be a post form and the action would be the root route here that is forward slash and though we have not created this post route here inside the app.js file but we'll be doing that very soon and now inside this form we would only have a single input field or rather two input fields one for the url and other for the submit button so input and the type would be url like this and the name of this input would be url and the id would be url again and uh, let's also provide a placeholder here and it would say url here like this and now we want to have another input field that would be of type of submit like this and the value would be create url like this so now let's save this application and let's go back and let's refresh this so we see that we have this input field here and create url so if we submit this form we see that we cannot get post because we have not handled this route so let's go back to our application or to our app.js file and here let's create the route here and that is this app.post route so app.post and here we would be posting to the root route that is the home route and then we have a callback here that is async request comma response comma next like this and this would be handling the post route here so now let's go back to our index.ejs file and let's do something more here that is if we see inside our completed application so let me stop this application and let me start the application again so let me start the completed application again and if we go here that this is the completed application if we simply create this url here we see that we are getting this error message here that is provider url so let me create a tag for that also and let me also create a tag for this thing also and if we paste a url here that is https google.com we see that we are getting this thing here that is the short url so let me also create a tag for this also inside the index.ejs file so let's go back to our application here and here firstly we want to create a tag for the error message here firstly we need to check if there is an error so for that we can use the if statement inside ejs so we can do ejs if like this and the condition would be locals dot error that is if an error object is passed then what we want to do we want to simply show the error to the client so p dot error and this is the error class which we are going to use inside our styles.css and here we simply want to output the error so we can use ejs out like this and here we can simply say error like this and we save this application and if you don't know that how am i using this thing here that is ejs if we get a if statement like this and then if we are using ejs out like this we are getting this then you can install a plugin inside vs code and that is this plugin so let me go to the extensions here and you can search for ejs language support this thing here and this is by a digital brain stem and it helps you make your write ejs tags very easily and very efficiently so that's what i am using inside vs code so that's what i am using inside my applications so i would highly recommend that you install this uh, plugin that is or this extension called ejs language support so now let's go to our ejs again and here we need to have a short id to be shown when the url is created so let's create a div here with the class of short url so dot short url and here we'll check if there is a short url passed to this ejs template so ejs if locals dot short url and here we want to output the anchor tag so let's do a and again i'm using emit here that is built inside vs code so i can do simply a and then ta tab so a and tab like this and here we want to output the short url itself so we can simply say ejs out like this and here we can simply say short underscore url and we also want this anchor tag to go to this url so let me copy this from here and let me paste it here 
so that the user can click directly on this anchor tag and he code would be taken to the short URL. So now let's save this. So I suppose everything is complete inside my index.ejs file, but only one thing remains and that is the styles for this EJS file. So let me provide a style here, style sheet here. So let's go to the top here and let me make a link here that would be referred to the style.css and we do not have this file here that is style.css inside the public folder. So let's create this file here that is style.css like this and here what I'm going to do I am simply going to copy and paste some styles and this video is not about CSS so you can simply copy the styles or you can write your own styles. So now let's save this and let's also save the app.js file and let's start this application here so npm start and let's go back here and let's open this url here that is localhost port 3000 and we see that we have this thing here so even if we do something here or let me provide a valid url here so https google.com then we are also not handling the post route we have just created the post route here so therefore there is no response from the server so let's go back again and here now firstly what we need to do we want to create a model for our url because eventually we will be saving our urls in the mongodb so let's create a model for that thing so let's define the model name here and that is url.model.js and here firstly we need to create a schema for our url so for that let's require this mongoose package so mongoose equal to require mongoose and then we can simply say const schema equal to mongoose dot schema like this and then what we need to do we need to create our short url schema so const short url schema equal to new schema like this and here we can provide in the object of this schema so firstly we need to handle the actual url that is coming from the client side or the long url and its type would be a string and it should be required so required would be true like this and then we want to create a short id for this url so let's create this so short id and this short id would be again of type of a string so type would be string and then it should also be required whenever some document is saved inside our mongodb so this should be true and finally what we can do we can create this uh, model here that is short url so const short url equal to mongoose dot model and here we need to pass in the collection name and that would be the short url and it would be automatically pluralized by mongodb or by mongoose that is short url to short urls so let me keep it this way and then we need to pass in the url schema and that would be short url schema that we just created away and then finally we simply want to export the short url so module dot exports equal to short url like this so now this thing is complete so let's save this and now let's go to the app.js file here and now here though we have initialized mongoose here we somehow want to connect to mongodb so let's do that after initializing the application and defining all the middlewares so let's connect to mongodb so for that we'll use the mongoose thing here so mongoose dot connect and here we need to pass in the path or the uri of the mongodb so since i am here running mongodb locally so what i can do i can simply do mongodb forward slash forward slash localhost localhost port 27017 because that is the default port of mongodb and then we can pass in some options here and the first option would be the db name which we want to pass so if, and if you do not pass our db name here then your collection would be saved inside the test db that is created by default by mongodb and the db name would be url shortener like this and then we also need to pass in some options here because if you do not pass them then you would be getting deprecation warnings inside the console or inside the terminal so let me also pass them here so use new url parser to be true 
then we need to pass in use unified topology so use unified topology to be true and thirdly we need to pass use create index to be true and in case you miss any of these three then you would be getting a deprecation warning here inside terminal so i suggest that you pass in these options also and since this mongoose.connect returns a promise so we can handle the then in catch block so then and here we can simply console.log that the mongoose is connected so console log so mongoose connected and here we can say floppy like this or otherwise we can also catch the error so error and here we can simply console log that error connecting to mongodb so error connecting like this so now let's save this and we see that as soon as we save we see this thing here that is mongoose connected so we see that we are connected to mongodb and now we want to require this url model that we just created that is short url inside our app.js file so let's require it at the very top so const short url equal to require and we want to require it from the models folder and the url dot model thing here so now let's save it again and now let's handle this post route here and here firstly let's extract the url from the request body that is coming from the form here that is from this form here and the name of this this url here so we can extract it from request.body so let's do everything inside try and catch because that is the way i do things and if there is an error then we can simply say next error so next error like this and now you might be wondering that though i have provided here next error but this error is not handled by our application because there is nothing below this thing here so what we can do we can create our error handler here firstly and then we'll be handling this post thing here so now let's create a route firstly for the 404 error so app dot use and here this route would be for the 404 error so it would take in the request response and next like this and then what we want to do here we can simply call in next again and here we can simply create the error from the create http error package dot not found like this and now we need to create the error handler so we can again create a middleware here so app dot use and here we can pass an error as the first parameter and request response and next like this so since we are using this package here that is create http error that is this package here so this error object would contain a status and a message here so what we can do we can simply send back the status so response dot status and the status would be error dot status or in case the error is not thrown by this package then what we simply need to do we can simply send back this 500 error that is internal server error and then we simply want to render the index page here or the index template here so we can simply say res dot render and here we can pass in the index template that we created and here we can pass in the error object so we can pass in the error here like this that is error error dot message like this so now let's save this so this is all for the error handling here and now let's handle the routes here that is the post route so firstly let's extract the url that is coming in the request body so const url equal to request dot body like this and i am using the structuring here so firstly what we need to check we need to check if there is an actual url inside the body and if there is not we would want to return an error back to the client so we will do something like this that is if not url and here what we can simply do we can simply throw the error that would be cached by this catch block here so we can do throw create http error dot bad request and here we can pass in the actual message so provide a valid url like this and then we can simply return from here or we do not need the return statement from here because we are simply throwing the error 
and now what we need to do we need to actually check that if the long url that is coming from the client side is already existed in our db and if it does then we simply want to send back the same short id that was created previously by any user so we can do something like this that is const if exist or let's make it if url exists so this would be equal to await and since i'm using async here therefore we can we can use await here so await short url dot find one and here what we need to pass here we need to pass in the url here so we can pass in url here so now let's uh, let's check that if the url exists so if or let's change this const to url exist only so if url exists then what we want to do we want to render the index page so response dot render and we want to render the index page and then we want to pass in the properties here and that would be the short url itself so short url and here we need to pass in the short url that is coming from this and this short url we have used here inside the index.ejs file that is short url so how do we get the short url here we can simply say we can pass in a template string here so http forward slash forward slash localhost colon 3000 and then you can pass in the url here so colon uh, dollar sign and uh, curly braces so short id or not short id but url exist dot short id like this and then finally we want to return from here so let's return from here and now if the url doesn't exist then we need to create a new short url and we need to save that inside mongodb so if the url doesn't exist we need to create a short url so const short url equal to new short url and here we need to pass in the short url object and this object would contain only two properties that is the url that is coming from the client side and the short id so short id and this short id we can generate from the short id package that we required above that is this short id that is this thing here so this should be short id dot generate simply like this and now finally what we can do we can simply save the short url to our mongodb so const result equal to await short url dot save like this and after this what we want to do we want to again render the index.ejs page so res dot render index and here we can pass in the short url property like this and again we can use the template string that is http localhost colon 3000 forward slash and here we can pass in result dot short id like this so now let's save this application and if, if everything goes well then we would be seeing a short url inside our page so let's go here and let me open google.com and let me search for or let me simply paste this google.com here so let's paste google.com and let's click on create url and we see that we are getting this back here and if we click on this link then we see that we are getting not found error because we haven't handled this route here that is localhost port 3000 and forward slash the short id here so now let's see that how do we handle this route so let's go back to our application and here let's handle the route here that would redirect us back to the actual url so app.get and here we would be using the request.params so this should be short id or let's keep it or let's keep it short id and then again we would be using async and await so async request comma response comma next let me minimize the terminal window here and now how to handle the short id firstly we need to extract the short id from the request.params so const short or let's keep it or let's call it short id equal to request.params like this and again we should be using destructuring here like this and now we need to find this short id inside our mongodb so const result equal to await short url dot find one and here we need to find the 
object with this short id so what we need to pass here we can pass in short id and short id would be the short id like this and now we can again omit this colon thing from here because the two things are same here so we can simply use short id here so now we need to check if there is no result that is if the result is an empty thing here then what we need to do we need to simply throw the error and for throwing the error we need to use everything inside try and catch block everything inside try and catch block like this and let's copy all this thing from here and let's paste it inside the try block here and if there is an error we can simply call it next error like this so if there is no result then what we want to do we want to simply throw the error so create http error dot not found and we can say that short url does not exist like this or otherwise what we want to do we want to simply redirect the user back to the actual url so we can simply do rest dot redirect and here we can pass in the uh, result dot url because this result would contain the url itself as you can see here that is the actual url so now let's save this application and let's go back and now let's uh, go to this route here that is this thing here and this time we see that here we are redirected back to google.com and now let's change the url by ourselves so let me provide any url which doesn't exist and we are rendered the index page and we see that short url does not exist so now let's try any other route so let's go to youtube page here and let's go to my channel page so let's copy the url here let's paste the url here let's create the url here so this is the short url and if we visit this url then we are inside the our channel page here so now just remember this thing or just keep a note of this uh, id here that is i am going to try to paste the same url again and we see that we would be getting the same url back and our long urls would not be du duplicated so it starts with xh1 and ends with kv2 so let me paste it here that is the same actual url of our home page so let's create the url and we see that the long url is not duplicated because we are getting back the same short id here and we are redirected back to our actual channel page and now one thing remains here is that you need to provide in here your actual domain here so how can you do that you can simply do it like this that is instead of providing local host port 3000 like this to make this application to be directly deployed to any of the domains what you can do you can simply do it like this that is request dot host name like this but in our case this request host host name would not work instead what we should be doing so let me copy it from here if you are running on local host and you need to provide in a port number since our uh, server is running on port 3000 so what you can do you can simply provide in request dot headers dot host like this this would work for any of the application but i would suggest that if you are having your domain name then you should be using this thing here that is request.hostname and not this thing here and the same thing you should be doing here also that is in this thing also so let me paste it here also and again for our and again if you have a domain then you should be using this request.hostname but in the github repo i'll be keeping them both so let's save this and let's go back and let's try doing it again so let's go to localhost port 3000 and let me paste in the url here so let's provide in the url for our home page so let's copy it so let's paste it here so let's create the url the same url is generated and if we click this then again we are redirected back to this channel home page here so guys this is how easy it was to create a url shortener application and if you have liked the video do hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe to the channel and if you want you can support me on the links given in the description below so thank you bye bye tata take care and have a good day